What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're chatting about the brand new upcoming, not yet released, Paragon Collection. None other than the Solar Power. If in this video I call it Solar Panel, I apologize. I don't know why my brain go certain ways. I really can't explain that. But every single time I think solar power, I'm thinking solar panel. It's just what my mouth wants to say. Paragon has very, very easily and very, very quickly become one of my top five favorite brands at the moment. Now, if you guys watch my previous Paragon videos, I'm trying new materials. The first video I did, I tried the Reluna fabric. Absolutely loved it. Then in the Botanicals collection, we tried the Flex Sweat material. Now, this was more geared towards working out. It was okay, but definitely not my favorite. However, today we're trying a new material. New to me, I should say. This is a material they've already had, but I've never tried. So today we're looking at their Rec Stretch material. This is the material they're using for this new solar power collection. Aside from testing this new material for the first time, we're also gonna be looking at their brand new scrunch. Introducing the Sculpt Seam Plus. I am so excited that they enhance that glute seam. If you guys know their signature sculpt seam, it's very subtle. It's very natural looking, super discreet. The scrunch is actually on the inside seam of the leggings. Well, now they took it to a new level. They elevated the scrunch for those gals like myself who really love an enhanced glute separation when working out at the gym. We will get into everything you need to know and more, but first, definitely hit that subscribe button. We do weekly activewear videos on this channel. We cover all brands like Gymshark, Alpha Elite, Buff Bunny, obviously Paragon. So you don't wanna miss out if you love activewear just as much as I do and pretty much live in it, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at what's actually launching. So Solar Power Collection is launching June 14th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They do offer early access at 1 p.m. EST. We have four colors launching, Flirt, Venice, Onyx, and Black. So I didn't grab the plain black. I just felt like, you know what? Why would I do that when all of these are here? <laughs> with the patterns, come on now. Plus, I really wanted to test the patterns in these different shades. How they hold up when squatting, what they look like when standing, how sweat shows up and things like that. So you're gonna see that I grabbed one of each color in the pattern. Speaking of colors and patterns, this collection was inspired by none other than Los Angeles. Light and breathable sets inspired by the lively, sun-drenched city of Los Angeles. LA's great and all, but I gotta say, the last time I was there, I went out to Hard Rock Cafe for some lunch. I did some walking around, saw the Star Walk, and I come back and my car's gone. Just gone. Here I am enjoying my lunch, eat my grilled chicken salad at the Hard Rock Cafe. Little did I know at the time, my car is off getting towed. Apparently you can't park on the streets after a certain time. I didn't know that. So what does Bay do? He calls 911. <laughs> So when the dispatch asked what kind of car it was, Bay told him what our actual car back home is. By accident, he did not go with the rental. <laughs> For whatever reason, his brain must have been flustered. It's okay, I forgive you. But immediately they're like, nah, we don't have that car. There's a good chance it probably got stolen then. And here I am freaking out. So a little word of advice, if you're ever in LA, just Uber. Save yourself a very expensive trip to the impound lot. So the fabric is super lightweight. Now they're saying it's midweight. This is very, extremely lightweight in my opinion. Feather soft. They say durable and yeah, I will give them that too. You can feel it in the material when you stretch it out. Designed for daily and high impact workouts. They've said that before in some of their collections. Daily, absolutely, 100%. High intensity depends on your version of high intensity. But for me, I think hit. I think really intense jumping. Yeah, maybe not for that. I wouldn't really run in it or do anything to that extent, but high impact if you're just sitting on a cycle, all right, maybe you're just biking. Yeah, okay. So we got 84% nylon, 16% spandex, very freaking stretchy. We are looking in this collection at the Sculpt Seam Plus legging. That's gonna roll in at $59. That's coming in all four colors. The Sculpt Seam Plus short. Rolling in at $49, coming in all four colors. The Essential Bra, $34, coming in all four colors. 
and they added in a crop top. This one's $36, just coming in the cloud prints. And I'm calling them cloud because that's what it looks like to me. It just looks like a sky. You can check my measurements out right over here. I'll also have them in the description box below as well. Everything you see in today's video is in my true size small. And if you guys decide to shop this launch, don't forget to use my code GATA at checkout. This not only saves you 10% off of all of your Paragon orders, but it does also help support this channel big time. Keeps our relationship relationship with Paragon nice and strong so we can keep these videos coming your way every single month. <sighs> okay, let's take a look at these leggings. So like I said, I have every single color minus the black. First of all, when I saw this pattern, this tie-dye cloud-like pattern, I was very, very pleased. This is such a summertime look, you know, especially with these cotton candy colors. So I think you guys know which ones are my favorite in the collection. First thing I noticed with this new enhanced scrunch, it's on the outside now. It's not like the original sculpt team where it's inside, it's very subtle. For example, look at their botanicals I reviewed. The scrunch, that elastic band is completely on the inside of the glute seam. So there's zero, zero, zero indication that this is a scrunch whatsoever. But then you got this baby over here. You hold it up to anybody and you're like, yeah, that's definitely a, a freaking scrunch bum. This is so dramatic, but yet when you wear it, you don't see it. This is really good at hiding in between where it needs to be. They still kept the really nice V seam. You have the tonal paragon text written right across the band it is printed on there's no top seam on the band very very moderate lower compression throughout this scrunch is great because it's stretchy so it moves with you it's not annoying it's not one of those dental floss scrunch bums my goodness it stretches out completely so it does appear extremely natural the way this scrunch molds to your glutes it does kind of give me whitney vibes that natural scrunch you don't feel it it's very comfortable i think it depends on actually the size of your glute whether you're gonna see it standing or not. For me, it was good, it was great. I didn't see any cat hole, I didn't see any scrunch. There was no indication that I was wearing a scrunch bum. This is the kind of scrunch I prefer wearing to the gym. If you have really small glutes though, I really don't know how this will look on your glutes. There could be a chance where you can see the scrunch itself. So I don't know, I do think it depends on your glutes. For me, it was no problem at all. I worked out in the blue set, I did a whole full body workout and it held up beautifully. The leggings stayed intact, I did a bunch of jumps squats actually, just to test it out to see if it slipped because this material has that very, you know, feathery, light, soft, almost slippery touch to it. So I wanted to test whether this material would shift. I jumped in it, I walked in it, nothing shifts around, nothing slowly makes its way down. Would I run in it? Not long term I wouldn't because like I said, this isn't really compressive. And I don't know about you, but when I'm running and I'm just like jiggling around, I need something that's gonna hold me in better. But for anything else, yeah, I think this is great for aerobics, weight training. I mean, I like I said, did a full body gym sesh in this bish and it was awesome. I felt like the whole set molded to my body nicely. The band wasn't overly compressive, so it wasn't sandwiching me in and making uncomfortable little cinching feels. Does that make sense? I feel like it's slightly long, but nothing crazy. It is a 25 inch inseam. I do believe if you have really big thighs and glutes, you will see that fade. And even potentially while just standing, you might see it. For me, when standing, not really noticeable. It was when I squat, I was like, okay, you can start to see material fading. Okay, cool. Something I will say about these leggings though, they're not 100% squat proof. As you guessed, the lighter colors are less squat proof. So in this overlap, I tested all three shades that I have, wearing a nude underwear and wearing a black underwear. These are briefs I wore, okay? So the black showed through each of them. The nude did too specifically in the pink and the blue color. However, I don't plan to wear briefs in these. If you wear nude seamless thongs in any of these shades, you're a-okay. But this brings me to my next point. Paragon has a way about them, saying that everything's anti-camel toe. Is this true, camel toe? I mean, Paragon. <laughs> when I first put these on, I was actually wearing my Ebbies, all right? You know I love my Ebbies, seamless, you know all that. I got such an insane camel toe that my instinct was, oh no, I can't wear these. 
they're a little too much to the point where it's like, I mean, everybody's just gonna be looking at my camel toe. <laughs> like, let's face it. However, I actually grabbed a thicker material seamless thong from Gymshark, a thicker material. And then I was completely smooth down there, smooth sailing. So I have to say something, you guys, you cannot wear this without underwear. You gotta have a thicker material thong to put underneath here. I really do suggest Gymshark for that. They're good. They got like a thicker seamless thong, perfect for this kind of material because this material is freaking thin. In terms of sweating, this material, so good at not showing sweat. I actually tested it out on one of the lighter colors, not even detectable one bit. However, I did notice when I felt my skin afterwards, you still feel a little bit wet. So I don't think that it's amazing at necessarily wicking, like taking the moisture off the skin, but it doesn't show sweat, so that's gotta account for something. These are a breeze to get on and off. Extremely comfortable for all day wear. Overall, I give these a true to size. If you're in between, I do think you can get away with sizing down given the stretch. Only downfall I can see to that is a little more potential of the material fading and the potential of it being less squat proof. The sports bras are very straightforward. You have no adjustments on these babies. You do have removable bra pads. Very low support, all right? This is why I'm saying when they say it's good for high impact, I'm like, what are you doing that's high impact? The straps are so comfortable though. I mean, if you look closely, you can see where they sewed it to the actual bra part. It looks like it's an adjustment, but it's not. This makes it so that the material is a little separated and can stretch with you. You can feel it, you can see it in the overlap, extremely stretchy straps. These are the kind of straps that I wear all day and they won't dig in, they won't be pressing in like a freaking panini. They're not gonna be just slicing up my skin. You know those straps I'm talking about, don't act like you don't. Very wide scoop neckline. You have a pretty thick elastic band right underneath the bra to add some support. So at least your girls aren't flying down that way. This especially if you're in between size down. Like there's no doubt about it. You don't wanna size up in this unless our measurements are just very different. Let's chat about the shorts. Now, as you can see, I'm only holding one in my hand. Why is that? Because when I read the brief, I saw that they were like four inches and you know I'm a six incher. That's what she said. However, if you're one of those gals who love to roll their shorts up, love wearing those short shorts, it's a leg day, like you can't have it any other way. And I know, that's all I see at my public gym. Nothing but gals wearing short shorts, and I think they look awesome in it. Now for me, I felt a little bit of cinching around the thighs. I actually feel like I carry most of my weight in my thighs, so perhaps my thigh circumference <laughs> feels it a little bit more than somebody else's. Again, the scrunch goes all the way down the glutes from top to bottom. So with this length of short, it flows really well. It just appears like your glutes are being hugged all around. I really wanted to test for roll up, especially because I feel like a lot of you gals who grab this, you're gonna be doing your leg day in it. And I don't blame you, but there was some roll up. <laughs> okay. However, if you're rolling them up intentionally, there you go. Last but not least, let's top it off with the tank. I specifically wanted these two colors in the tops because I wanted to pair them with other summer fits, okay? So if I'm going down to the beach and I'm wearing some white shorts or skirt, not necessarily for the gym, but definitely for fashion, I wanted these. Now, you know me, I go with the sports bra. I don't really wear tanks to the gym. They did a really great job on these tanks for something so simple. Like you would think most brands can't go wrong. They can. They did not though. They did a great job. This material, very much a body fit. It will hug your curves. It will hug you very well. Very stretchy, very comfortable. Stretchy around the neckline. That's a big deal to me because when I got my makeup on and I go to put my head through here, I can't afford to have my makeup all over my shirt. This is midi fit. It's not a full, full crop but it's not full length either. But it does cover me. When I lift my arms, that's when you can see some stomach showing. This is unlined. There's no built-in bra. There's no shelf bra. Totally true to size in between. For me, I would definitely size down rather than up. But I guess that just really depends on how much room you want. There you have it. That is Paragon's new solar power collection. I'm so proud of myself for not slipping up and saying solar panel. Drop a comment down below. What do you think about this collection? I 
actually do have to say, I prefer this collection over the botanicals and they definitely marketed that towards working out. Not that it's not good for that, but I didn't prefer that. In my gym sets that I like, I need the glute enhancement, they did that. I need the material to be a little more body fit, not wrinkly, they did that. If I'm gonna choose the botanicals or this one to actually lift weight in, it's gonna be the solar power. Oh my God, I almost said panel, I really did. I almost slipped up and ruined my Beautiful track I was on. Overall thoughts, I think they nailed this collection. It's right up my alley for what I need in some gym wear. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Don't forget these launch June 14th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My code GATA saves you 10% off of all Paragon orders. Definitely let me know if you use my code so I can personally thank you and show you some love like you deserve. I love you guys. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video.